I wasn't talking about me, I was talking about this guy. Hey you! My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now recently I heard a bunch of news outlets, uh, blogs and portals talk about this website that's called This Person Does Not Exist. Com. So I checked it out and I read a little bit about it and this dude named Philip Wang, he created it to demonstrate uh, what certain pieces of AI code can do. This was based on an underlying code created by a company we usually refer to when we speak of graphics card and yes, you guessed it, NVIDIA. Let's hop over and check out some of these pictures. Check them out. Super duper realistic. Reload. And the most amazing thing for me is that it can combine I'm pretty sure it has a source of images where it pulls from, but it can combine them in such a way that you can tell which are the masculine faces, which are the feminine faces without mixing them up as what is normally the problem when you watch AI working. This may seem like a novel concept, but we've already had completely CGI generated influencers for a long time, so-called virtual influencers like Little Michaela, looking completely photorealistic and amassing millions of followers on social media. So what is this piece of AI code gonna do next? What interests me in particular is how this is gonna affect areas of photography. Artificial intelligence is already capable of creating amazing compositions, simulate perfect lighting setups, and and generating photorealistic faces like this with an algorithm might sooner than later eliminate the need for a portrait photographer. With just a picture of someone's face or maybe a 3D map of their face, a computer could simulate any pose in any lighting in any location. What it can do yet is simulate human expression and emotion. So as photographers, what should we be focusing on right now to make sure that our occupation isn't irrelevant in the near future? Perhaps out photoshopping AI? I know I need to brush up in those skills anyway. Tell me what you think about AI taking over the world and what useful or harmful applications it might have for society in the near future. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'm going to see you guys next week. Next week! Daily